things we do for love. A husband to eight untouchable wives, a dad to five juveniles and two infants. It's a lounge for an estimated 320 gorillas and termed as Africa's most distinct geographical forest, Bwindi Impenetrable Forest, simply meaning the place of darkness. Welcome to the wondrous voyage of Insights Uganda. To advance this wonder, we head to the far southwestern part of Uganda, and in particular, Bwindi Impenetrable Forest. The route is very mountainous, and the roads dip and dive over high ridges with slopes, now largely logged out, and deep fertile valleys. From afar, graceful hills punctuated by gladly yielding valleys enhance the beauty here giving visitors a snippet of what to expect. Beautiful terraces, dressed in tea and potato gardens, this part of the country offers the most astounding views in East Africa. Because of the differences in altitude, the region is relatively colder than any other place in Uganda. Therefore, appropriate clothing is advised. It's been an 11 hour drive and as dusk creeps in, we check into Traveler's Rest Inn, an ideal place for the night with hot showers, intercontinental meals and a warm ambience, perfect after such a long day. Built in somewhat colonial style, Traveler's Inn has a comfortable character. In the evenings when it gets cooler, visitors can warm themselves outside or inside the lounge. Alternatively, you could check into Heritage Guest House. Centrally located in Kisoro town, the small guest house is conveniently opposite Standard Bank on Kisoro's short trip of tarmac. It's affordable, easily accessible, yet customer friendly. Other places to stay at include Kisoro Tourist Hotel, Ngahinga Rest Camp, Nkuringo Safari Lodge, Budongo Guest House, among others. After a good night's sleep, we drive to the heavily wooded park. Because you have to start tracking at 8.30 in the morning, it is strongly advisable that you get to Uganda Wildlife Authority Park Headquarters early enough for a briefing. We are introduced to our guide for the day, who explains some of the rules of the park, such as no smoking, eating or drinking once we've reached the gorillas. Amazing spectacle exuding an inconceivable allure of more than 25,000 years. On the edge of the Western Rift Valley, Windy covers 321 square kilometers. Owing to its natural thickness, Windy locally means a place of darkness, a perfect explanation why it is known as the impenetrable forest.
It has been estimated that there are about 630 mountain gorillas around the world. The vast majority found in Bwindi, 320 mountain gorillas. The first path of the walk is the easiest along the sunlit path. About 45 minutes into the forest, we turn off this path and the hard walking begins. Our target, the Rushegura group. A good hiking gear is recommended for gorilla trekking. The process is exhausting as the paths are always slippery, entangled and wet. It's important to take lots of water during the trek as the activity is strenuous and dehydrating due to change in altitude. Traversing through valleys, we reach the place where gorillas spent the night. Marked by nests of branches and leaves, our guides decide to hack in, as this is a good sign. Through the damp forest floor, laden with leaf mold, entwined vegetation and vines, all through dense undergrowth, our pursuit continues. We trip down the slippery slopes, pressed down grass and broken twigs. At a distance, the sounds and vegetation swinging back and forth, tipping off. This could be our lucky day, face to face with the largest and most powerful primate on the verge of extinction. The gorilla's easy-going nature has made it possible for humans to mingle with wild family groups. Unfortunately, gorillas have been widely hunted for food and sport by the same brothers. Consisting of a silverback with eight wives, five juveniles and two infants, this group is locally understood as the Rushegura group. Named after the family head Rushegura, he is the conqueror of this territory. And judging from his look, he is confident that we are no rivals and if we were, he's certain of his wars. Mountain gorillas are primarily vegetarian, known to eat about 58 different plant species. Gorillas delight in wild celery, bamboo, thistles, stinging nestles and bed straw, bamboo shoots being the most favored diet. A male gorilla's back turns silver when he reaches sexual maturity at the age of 13 and at about 15 years, he starts to acquire his harem by attracting a young, sexually mature female from another troop. Older silverbacks grow a bone at the top back of their heads, forming a dome-like feature. When fully mature, male gorillas stand at a height of 6 feet, carrying a weight of about 600 pounds. A fully grown female, however, will stand at about 5 feet, weighing up to 200 pounds. Obviously human in appearance, the gorilla's hands are very broad and strong. The thumbs are smaller, which helps the gorilla to grip as it climbs trees or foliage. Similar to humans, this massive creature has a gestation period of about 209 to 251 days and it remains with the young three years after its birth. Barely losing sight of his family, Rushegura's expression of commitment, respect and protectiveness as opposed to pursuing selfish interests goes far to portray a well-bred boy who turned out to be a responsible husband. Interesting, 
that despite slight physical disparities from humans, mountain gorillas, just like man, draw from the same mind. Well folks, Rushe Gura, defensive, loving and caring, just like humans, things we do for love. I've been to Uganda many times, but I never saw the gorillas, so this time I said I have to see the gorillas. And I really enjoyed seeing them so close. It was an awesome experience, uh, easier than, uh, than we expected, as we, the gorilla was very cooperative. And also, I think the best thing was to see that they live very close to the people, but they're not disturbing the people.